Tribe Called Quest Air Jordan 1, Foam Posit, Silver Foam Posit Jordan 1, Orange Gatorade Jordan 1, Gold Toad Air Jordan 1, Shadow Jordan 1, Celtics Jordan 1, one of the dopest, the Bread Jordan 1, Jordan Royal 1. I wanted this shoe and Kobe had it on the Marcelio Holmes. Red Toad, Red Toad Jordan 1. The quality on this one is dope. Everyday sneaker head. Every day? Every day. Every day? Every day, my brother. Every day. Everyday Sneakerheads back with another dynamic season. Season two, I told you we was taking it to the streets. So we made it here to Baltimore, Maryland to see a good friend of mine. I've known her since back in church when we was kids running around. Not even knowing that we all would become such sneakerheads out here in these streets, moving and doing our thing in and out of these sneaker shops. We, her real name is Marshana, but for short, we call her Mars. Everybody over Cincinnati knows her. She came here for a great job opportunity here in Baltimore. Had to take it to the streets and come here and see her collection. Let's start off with your first shoe and what got you um, into this whole sneaker thing. This was 2002, I believe. Yeah, 2002. This is my first shoe. Um, got it from my brother. He worked for you know a company and uh, he was able to get shoes. So. Um, that was it. I played basketball in them. Uh, before this was Air Force Ones. I used to hoop in Air Force Ones. Mids. Really? Yeah, Hooping in mids? Yeah, it was crazy. He was like Rasheed Wallace yeah. on the floor. Really this is the 16? Yep. 16. That's the one that came with the suitcase. Her foot was too small for the suitcase, but got to keep track and hold on to your the ones that have the most meaning to you. This was a dope shoe. Let's go straight to the heat. Everybody's waiting on this one next year. Tell me about this one. The Retro Flint 13. 13. And, I, and I'm direction. not really a big 13 fan, but I just like the blue and the the blue and the gray color. The blue, yeah. the gray, everything about this shoe is so dope. Everybody's missing it. I'm missing this one in my collection. That's my only 13. This is your only 13? The only retro 13 I've ever had. Really? That's fine. That's hard to believe. They've been bringing out so many 13s. Um, I, that's a whole nother conversation because yeah, right. some of them is throwaway. Let's go to the another one that we all waiting on. Cool gray 11s. Cool gray 11s. 11s and, real, and real nice condition. Yeah. You're keeping this one real nice. That's one of my favorite stilettos too, the 11s. This one is real nice, man. The, the way that gray patent leather, they've been dropping the ball on some of these uh, uh, female releases. We got word about this silver one coming out oh, yeah. for the females for Christmas. I think they dropped the ball on that with the glitter. But this gray on this lighter gray, always been a fan of just two tones of gray in one shoe. This one is real hot. It's time for that one to come out again. Yeah, we waiting on this one. Yeah. I'm thinking next year. What you think? I don't know. I hope so. Now, we're going to take a left turn on my channel. Y'all know I don't talk a lot about Yeezys, but she got a few in the closet. Let's pull a couple of them out and let y'all look over. So What's this, this one? This was one of the first colorways. Uh, it, was a, it was a three pack, quote unquote, but um, it was a white. It was black and red, black and um, like a lighter tan. And then this was the black and olive. I did like the black and red one. I'm not big on the Yeezy Crave. But that's that next generation of sneakerheads coming in, and I'm welcoming that. Something new. Um, don't be out here hating on what the young kids is doing. Is what they like. Um, everybody tells me how comfortable it is. Yeah, they are. I wore those to work in. Actually. Really? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big guy. And y'all, I've said it on plenty of episodes. I'm not big on low cuts. Uh, what they call it, three-quarter length, mm -hmm. Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s. That's as low as my shoe is going to get. I got a few... Air Max at the crib just wasting away. I need to give away to somebody. They all 350s though. So I mean, so you got all 350s, different, yeah. different colors. Yep. Let's so go. I just started collecting, not collecting, but I just started getting them. You know, just started since grabbing I got, them since I got here. So, so what you got in some of these silver boxes? When you see these Jordan silver boxes, everybody know this is an older shoe. Yep, this is my retro four. The retro four. Pure money. So right? That's the pure money that everybody. That's the original pure yeah. money. That everybody knows about. Um, does it have the pure money behind it? Yep. Pure money behind the tag. So you know that is the OG pure money. Or this is the black, or this is the white cement. Oh. That wouldn't be 12. 2000 and Would that 11. Be 11, 11 yeah. 2011. Classic, classic shoe. 
My favorite silhouette. Y'all know about me and the cement fours. Classic, classic shoe. Let's cones. Man. Yeah, cone, yeah. The way they put those colors together on that one was so sick. That purple and orange with that teal also. This is my first shoe I paid over retail for. You paid over retail, retail for that for, one? Yeah. I, Man. I, I did on it on so the you, same you side. you had to have it. Yeah, I just had something about it. the colors. I'm, I like orange. That's my favorite color. So. Yeah, and when you go to bidding and paying over retail, this is one of them shoes you had to have. Right. I got a similar story with the gold toe uh, ones. That's the most expensive shoe um, in my collection as far as what I paid for. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, uh, that one too. Let's pull that one out real quick. Let's see what that one looks like in the small foot. Gold toe. That's a classic, classic shoe. Everybody talks about the creasing. I never mind the creasing because I feel like it, look better like that. it looks better. That you're showing the character, how you wear your shoes, how you rock them. So, and you're not looking to resell no time soon or even at all. Always um, going to have that shoe in your collection anyway. Dope shoe. You go with the black laces on. Well, I do white on one and black on another, but I oh, took, you switch them up. Yeah, I do the one. Yeah. I like to switch like that. Now I'm noticing in your collection, I'm seeing two of these. You got doubles of this royal one. Yeah, royals. This is my favorite, my favorite all time favorite shoe. All time favorite? All time favorite shoe. And the leather on this one is 10 times better than this one. So, what year? Is it two different years? Yeah, that's the latest one. I can't remember the year. This one is the 2012. And then whatever that one is coming Yeah, out. they know they had that kind of that hard, yeah, it was that hard. hard leather. That's they why they wasn't showing the kids head. no love. Right. The kids Not at all. always had the trash Not at all. leather. And like you said, this is that hard leather. This is way softer, yeah, especially like on that toe box. Two different roars. You can even see the tumble leather on mm -hmm. the Nike check and how this one yep. is so flat. But a real, real dope shoe. Yeah, that's my all-time favorite. Is this the mellow, the gold yeah, one you the got mellow. here in the back? Let's pull that one. Yep, this is the mellow. A couple years old. It's from 2014. 2014. This was a dope shoe right here. Nobody really, uh, yeah, too many people on had this one. The mellow on the tongue. Carmelo Anthony. I put a Carmelo Anthony on my Instagram the other day. He got no love. No love at all. But some of the mellow silhouettes was decent. Always something different. They don't get no love when it comes to the sneaker game. With them being on Jordan, that's my this is my own theory with him and Chris Paul being on Jordan brand. It's just hard to get away from us buying all these retros right. to even take your time to go get a mellow or a Chris Paul shoe for that matter. And a terrible, terrible shoe they've been putting out for Westbrook. My own personal opinion. We waiting. Firm. That's the all star one. We waiting on the red carpets it's that's like soon seven. to release. I had a chance to get this one on the site when it came back years ago. Dragged my feet and went back the next day. It was gone. The way they did that wood grain look and it's on the toe. This is 3M as well. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't even know that. Always learning something on my show. Dope, dope shoe. A lot of people's favorite LeBron silhouette. Yeah, that's a seven. That's a favorite one. Let's go into taxis. We'll pull out taxi, taxi 12s. 12, yeah. Everybody's waiting on this one to retro. Uh, what's your opinion on this so-called reverse taxi that they're calling it that's coming out here I don't in a know. few I like, weeks? I like the OG stuff, so I like the OG colorways. Everybody so. like to stick with them yeah. OG colorways, and for them to put a nickname on it, a reverse taxi, and my personal opinion, if it was reversed, everything on this one that's white will be black, black, and all the black will be white. But that's not the case mm -hmm. with this so-called reverse yeah. taxi 12 that's another one of my favorites let's grab that two that you got down at the bottom this was a hot one is this the one that came out in the three pack with mm. the yellow one nah, that's a one? separate that was a different yeah. one that came out alone twos get no love no love yeah, in the shoe game pairs. but this one was pretty decent it was a different color did they actually call this one pantone I don't think it was oh, Pantone back then. No, they didn't like, call it, it was, Pantone. Uh, it was just University Blue, I just believe. Just University yeah, Blue. North Carolina Blue. Yeah, this was a real dope shoe. They say I don't have enough females on my channel. Well, I made sure that this first episode was with a real sneakerhead. Let's make sure um, we get and show some love to that phone posit. You know what shoe? What, is that the Green Goblin? No, this is the Paranorman. So they, they um did a contest for these. Um you had to send in a, a child picture of yourself yeah. and you they raffled them off. So now this reminds me of the pair. Didn't they have a pair that was some similar to this? They yeah, called it the Green Goblin yeah, without, without the smoke. smoke on it. Yeah, but yeah. these are rare, limited to like seven hundred maybe, I believe. Really? Yeah. And you jumped on that one. What's the story on you getting this one? Um actually when I lived in Louisville I knew a guy who um actually won a pair. 
that was my size and he offered them he was you know putting them up for sale so i went ahead and bought jumped them. on it this is way way that's crazy a once in a lifetime i never seen thing, this yeah. one i Came never seen this one in hand crazy box it's so it's off of the movie the paranormal movie okay so yeah crazy insert, box did I it come it. It oh it you had to rip it open it. yeah Learn something new all the time on my channel. Is that a bag that they put in the no, box? No, that's actually the paper that they wrapped okay, it in. Okay, that's what they wrapped so, yeah. it in. Man, that's dope. That's fire. That's fire. We got some heat. Let's grab um some of the IEs don't get no love on my channel. Like I said, I don't go lows, but these IEs is real fresh. Yep, this is my first one. First IE. Oh, man. This is 07. Yeah, yeah. That's a classic with the yellow on it. Yeah, and was I'm that, a Michigan fan, so I had Was that one kind of like the do the right thing one? I know um, they had kind of a thing going mm -hmm. with the Remember the threes they had similar to this? Yeah. With that blue and yellow? I just kind of made that up. I don't know if it's real or not. I just kind of put through that one out. There. Yeah, I got three pair of those, so. Now, when that one dropped, that was one I really liked, but I, I knew I wouldn't get it. But that was one that was flying. Everybody was on that pair. Yeah, I just like the, the difference. I don't like the 11s, and I just like the, the IE. We had to pull out an OG, a classic low, with everybody going crazy, kind of in and out of stores, waiting on the price to drop on some of the lows that's out there. She had the OG shadow one. We had to pull this one out to let you all see the difference and what's going on out there with the lows now and what we're looking at, what it was back in the day. What's different on this one, Morris? Tell me what... You wearing that shoe, or are you just waiting and sitting them on ice? No, nah, I wear these. Um, I wear pretty much everything in here. So the the difference between the new low that's out now is a little bit thicker around the padding, around the uh, around the yeah. So I think it's for skateboarding, some yeah, sort of thing kinda, like that. Yeah, kind of still in a little bit what they do with the SBs. Right, but this is the OG retro, the one real low. OG. Yeah. And you see, they got the Nike Air on the tongue of that, and then the symbol. I just noticed that the symbol is not as big in the back. The Air Jordan on the, wings, on, the, on, the, new ones, on yeah. the big, you know, it's real big across the back of the new one. But this one is clean. This is that OG that we looking for. If they did the lows, the true, true to form, they would fly off the shelves and all these colors that they doing. Mm -hmm. I think the purple one is dope. The shadow backboard. The colors are definitely nice. The, I the just, colors just, I just nice, don't like the new, the new but style. But us being older sneakerheads, we want that original. If they do that next summer, they will have a big, big market for that shoe. All over again, even in the same colors, I think an OG heads will definitely go be grabbing on those. Mm -hmm. But she pulled out some of these exclusive dunks, some real hot dunks. I'm not big on dunks myself, but let's talk about some of these. Now, that, what do they call that's a cork? So, this is the cork dunk. I don't know the exclusiveness of this particular one, but um, I know I just liked it because it was different. The cork, yeah, I think something this is the totally second one. They had, a diff they had one come out before this, if I'm not mistaken. So I think this was pretty dope. I like that. Something one. real dope. I like it with that black and the cork also. Man, this is real dope shoe. Real dope shoe. You get plenty of wears out of this. Yeah. Then I know they're bringing this one back um, for the men. I got this biotech dunk for kids. As you see, it's definitely faded a lot. I believe it came in the mail like that, too, to be honest. But I've been rocking it. Still like what it. year is this one? I think I got that in 2012. This is a dope shoe. All these colors. It's like everybody been going color crazy these uh, past couple, maybe year or so, with yeah. all the different colors on the shoes. It works. I like the way some of the uh, mashups they've been doing with some of the different shoes. Let's go over this one. Now, this yeah. one is heat. Uh, then I got the All-Star Dunk. Um, they partnered with uh, Black Sheep, which is a sneaker shop in uh, Charlotte. So they came out with this shoe. Uh, shout out to the Jones. They got me those. Um, Jones well, Kicks. Jones How y'all doing out yeah. there? This so, one is sick right here. Yeah, and then it came with a box with a, uh, like a prize pack, if you want to call it. Additional stuff in there. Um, so this shoe came with three different boxes? Came with two different boxes. Two different boxes. So it came with an actual shoe box and then like um, a whole prize pack and stuff. Had. Yeah, it's just strictly for All Stars. So I got three laces in there. got a basketball in there, black hornet basketball stickers um and then i got the hornets um uh, lace locks. so that was like the lace lock was this yeah. one was this year yeah that was this year it was just awesome. reminds me of um the jordan sixes they did for all-star with that the um, ones too because the, the ones, ones that, as yeah. well with that kind of crazy colors but this one is fire this one is fire this, one. Uh, this is the De'Aaron fox the swiper swiper um, air max one 
So I just grabbed them. Uh, orange and blue is two of my favorite colors. So I, I don't, if they would have made this, both shoes, I probably would have still grabbed them. Yeah. I just like how they're different. Some of the texture on here and the different uh, ins and out on this is dope. That's what it is. Swiper on the back. Real dope shoe. Real dope shoe. I know you're on your feet all day at work. Tell me what you're normally wearing. So we all know these Jordans can be hard on your feet if you up on your feet for a certain amount of hours. Yeah. So you I'm wearing Air wearing? Max Plus. Vapor Max Plus to work. That's it. I got four or five different colors of these and I'm just swapping them out and, and you know, interchange them every day. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I can't really wear this stuff to stand in all day, but you catch me in these. I call these my trap shoes. So how many different colors you got of these? Um, I got five different colors. I mean, they came out with yeah. some real heat. It's like uh, Vapor Max and uh, um, Vapor Max Plus, and then what's the other shoe? Um, Air Max Plus. Really been running the scene for almost a year now. Yeah, Air Max been really it's heavy. It's the go yeah. the go to shoe, and they even threw the ninety eights in there as well. Yeah, always always a dope shoe. Well, Marshawn being my home girl from Cincinnati, uh, coming out here to Baltimore, allowing me to jump in here with her closet, go over all her dope kicks and what she doing out here in the shoe game. You from Cincinnati? You know it's a staple to have you a bag of grip on. So I had to bring my girl Cincinnati staple hot potato chip. Sometimes you get a hot bag, yeah. sometimes you won't. But I had to bring you a bag of that Appreciate for a taste of Cincinnati. And then my cousin with the Tip 32 barbecue sauce that's from Chicago. So we had to bring you a little bit of Midwest flavor out here to Baltimore to make sure you had in the kitchen cabinet. I want to thank you Appreciate for it. allowing me to come through and do this today. Our first episode of Everyday Sneakerheads. Thank you all for watching. Our t-shirts, now we rocking the long sleeve hooded t-shirts and also thermals. So if you guys could please support us, we appreciate that in advance. Everyday Sneakerheads, another episode wrapped up. Salute. We out of here. Everyday sneaker heads. Every day? Every day. Every day? Every day, my brother. Every day.